चेक चेक वन टू वन टू A very very good evening to you. Aap sun rahe hain Sri One Zero One Six, the UAE's number one Bollywood radio station. It's a Sunday evening time. Ora hai chhe bajkar chaar minute aur bhagya ek baar phir se khul gaye. कैसे तारुण हाउ कम आपका भाग्य इतना ऑफन खुलता है भाई भाग्य का जो ताला है ना वो बड़ा वीक है और वो मुझे बड़ी कमाल की बात लगती है इस वक्त वी गॉट समवन हु हैज वन द टाइटल ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल वुमेन इन द वर्ल्ड बट इवन डिस्पाइट दैट आई मीन उनके पास उस इवेंट की कोई सीरीज नहीं है क्योंकि शी इज मूव्ड ऑन लाइक लॉन्ग अगो शी मूव्ड ऑन यार ऐसे ही जिंदगी जीनी चाहिए मैं कहता हूं mm-hmm. जो हासिल किया उससे अटैचमेंट हटाया लाइफ में आगे बढ़े नया एक्सपीरियंस किया और इतनी अकल अगर मुझमो तो बता नहीं कहा होता है तो उन्होंने अभी हमें थोड़ी देर पहले खुद बताया है एक्साइटमेंट आप बताइए कौन है इन द स्टूडियो राइट नाउ जॉइनिंग अस लाइव हियर ऑन सिटी 1016 इज नन अदर देन डायना हेडे Welcome, welcome, welcome to the studios Thank of Sydney One Zero One Six. Thank you. I must say, I love the energy the two of you have. Thank you, Diana. So, what brings you to Dubai? Was it Tarun's charm, or was it his, uh, you know, drop dead good looks, or was it the fact that he's uh, his wife is currently traveling? What brings you? To Dubai? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not. She's in. She Option D back. is none of the above, <laughs> no, no, which right. is the right answer. <laughs> Karishma is very sweet. मतलब वो मुझे ऐसे पेश कर देती थाली में तरुण को ले जाओ ये लोग too cute both of you yeah. I'd love to say all of the above See. but but there was a very very important big launch that I came for it was the Asta IVF in Women's Clinic mm-hmm. launch mm-hmm. in Dubai and um, that's what I'm here for that's fabulous so yes. how come you're associated with the Asta IVF clinic because they very kindly asked me to be associated <laughs> with it <laughs> so don't ask her a question okay Please. so ask you know ask her a uh, question <laughs> she's ready to say yes why are you so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> I can't ask will you marry me because I'm already married here. Yeah. Come on here. Yeah. Oh, because you're already married. Never mind that. I love married. you. Yeah, no, <laughs> never mind that. Her husband and child are just in the other room. <laughs> they are not listening to us. It's okay. They will never know. Will they ever know? They won't. So But your wife is. might. There you go. Yeah, yeah, na. Some dukh tu hi nafs pe khado ke dance karne lag jaate hain. I don't like it. Too cute. You're too cute. <laughs> so, so tell us about the Aster IVF Association. Um, when did it all begin? When was it that they contacted you? They got in touch with me. Uh, couple of months back a few months back right. um you know time and um i think the reason why they got in touch with me is because i had my baby through ivf mm-hmm. and she is the love and the joy of my life Aww. i mean she is just amazing bless her and how old is she now she's 4 months and her name is aria aria and That's she a oh my name. thank you thank you and she is just such a joy and You know, I came out with the whole story of having IVF even though it was so personal. Mm-hmm. And I'm normally a very very private person. I don't talk about my personal life, but I figured that with everything that I've been through, if my story could help one woman, then it's worth it. Yes. And it was it's a long story. I froze my eggs when I was 34 years old. Right. And um you know because mr right was not yet in my life 30 mm-hmm. 31 32 33 um so i froze my eggs and then i had ivf when we got married right. uh, colin and myself mm-hmm. we found that i couldn't get pregnant in 6 months you know when you cross 40 mm-hmm. they i was 40 uh, i'm now 43 by the mm-hmm. way Just put it out there, you know. <laughs> you didn't have to. <laughs> We would have But gone look, with 23. You look so like you're cute. 16 years old. Still. <laughs> no, to me, charm. Yeah, you know, don't be so charming. That's a little, you know. <laughs> she's almost. She's almost going to say juta. <laughs> exactly. But what happens? The reason I bring up my age is when you're 40. your eggs the quality of your eggs and everything deteriorates and right. it's difficult to conceive right. but never did i think that i would need my frozen eggs to mm-hmm. use them for medical reasons mm-hmm. i had endometriosis which is a medical condition for a woman and that increases your chance of having infertility problems oh no yeah so when did you discover that 6 months after getting married right when we went to the doctor to see you know what are the ch- what why was i not conceiving right and i'm one of those very few people mm-hmm. who showed no symptoms of endometriosis because it's a very painful um disease so to right. speak so we went through the IVF process mm-hmm. and it's a very personal i mean literally it's about your body you're talking about besides correct. the treatment correct but it's important i feel that people know so that there's hope out there for women because there really is hope not just women couples right see people talk about infertility and the association is always directed towards women the woman alone yes and there's n- the stigma about the whole thing should just go away because it's so prevalent in today's world correct with 
not just older people mm -hmm. and it's just spread it's younger there's so many people out there couples out there who are having problems so Asta got in touch with uh, with my manager mm -hmm. and they asked if I'd come and um, launch their clinic because mm -hmm. it's a it's a really important big deal I think for the Middle East um, not just Dubai mm -hmm. and uh, for couples you know you know, it's in incredible that you mentioned couples because uh, in a marriage, there are a lot of pressures and there's a lot of stress that, that couples really deal with. And uh, definitely when you're trying to have a baby and you're trying to go down that road and it's not really working out for you, it can be a huge stress on the relationship. So uh, so for this to be an answer that more women and men can look at, more couples yeah. can look at, yeah. uh, it is encouraging. Like what you've done is pretty encouraging. I remember sitting right here in the studios a few months ago and reading the story about you yeah. and uh, thinking, oh, oh you yeah, know, this is interesting. You never know how it changes someone's life, though. I've had, you know, it's amazing. I've had people come to me, like, like especially two people mentioned to me, uh, they, they sent me emails saying, you have no idea what a difference this has made because it has shown me that I can actually use this as an option. Absolutely. You know, and it gives people hope. Absolutely. And there, there is, the thing is, there is an option. Mm -hmm. So why not? But the most important thing is mm -hmm. that you've got to see that the doctors you're with and the place where you get your IVF done is good because there are doctors out there, mm -hmm. there are clinics out there where they are sharks and it's all about taking your money. Really? And the best thing I can tell your mm -hmm. listeners, honestly, the best advice I can give them is see that the doctors and the clinic, they take time to speak with you, to counsel you, mm -hmm. to understand your questions, answers, all yes. that. And because time, it's not about money. Correct. It's about the patient. Correct. You know, and a genuine, true doctor and clinic, that's what they will look out. So, so you do. find a doctor who's going to work with you. Yeah.